This is our family. And this is our van life adventure. If you'd like to follow on with all of our adventures, don't forget to like and subscribe. After a crazy few weeks of driving, we've stopped at Trabilia and Hittagrande campsite for a bit of a recharge. Hello! We have checked into a campsite because we need some uh, services, really. We need some washing machines um, to get our washing done. But what I didn't know, the campsite's got an oven. So tonight for dinner, we are making pizza from scratch. Because I do oven pizza in our oven for the boys. But proper fresh pizza takes too long. So I'm going to use the site oven to do proper pizzas. Just cooking up some veg. I'm expecting me and Perry to eat this more than the boys on our pizzas. But just getting them, softening them up a bit. So I made this dough a little bit earlier. It's just flour, water, salt and baking powder. Really easy. So I made it earlier. I think it's a little bit sticky. So I might need to add a bit more flour. Um... I went a bit overboard with the water I think I wasn't very careful um, so yeah I think I need to put a bit more flour on it but I'm just going to roll it out and split it between four of us I just didn't think it through when I was at the supermarket last time so I'm, try I'm trying to grate this sliced cheese um, <laughs> having mixed results but it's okay right it'll all melt tomato on yours now yeah. what about some cheese do you want to put some cheese on so if everybody else is having the, the the other cheese, I'm having this that I picked up on our last shop. So I did think a little bit. It's on our way. Busy little man. Let's go make the most of the slight ovens. Yay. Pizzas are going on. Go on, shut the door, Ollie. You can shut it. Well done, sweetheart. Okay. What do you think? Why did you make the dough? I made the dough in I'm everything. Not in, I'm not in. What do you think of it? I'm, I'm not in. <laughs> what? Well, can I just turn the camera like this? What does everybody think about their homemade pizza? Really good. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Thumbs up. Why did I love it so much? Because I don't want to eat all of it. Good boy. Leo, anything to add? After a beautiful night at the campsite, we're back on the road again, heading up the E6 towards Trondheim. But the weather and the driving has got me struggling a bit. I just want to jump on and sort of be a bit honest. Like, I've been having a bit of a, I've been struggling a bit on this trip. Um, and I'm trying to figure out what it is. I think it's partly that I had like such high expectations. Um, for what this trip was going to be. I'm going to take my glasses off because I look ridiculous with them. Like, um, yeah, I had such high expectations of Norway and I had such high hopes of Norway um, that the whole sort of drive here through all these different other different countries, some were great, some weren't great. Um, it was always sort of focused on arriving in Norway and getting here. And since we've got here, it still doesn't sort of feel like the trip has started it's been you know and i'll keep going on about it but the flooding's made things quite hard the routes we've wanted to take have been blocked and have been closed even when they show on maps that they're open we're finding sometimes they're not um so some of our drives are taking a really long time and um it's like the fun hasn't quite started yet. And I know, like I'm thinking about it, I know this is about me, 
really is about me having these expectations and not living in the moment and really just enjoying it um, but I'm struggling a little bit on how to kind of get out of my own head and um, like how to just start chilling out and just just relaxing a bit and um, like we're in this beautiful country and it is gorgeous like everywhere you drive is gorgeous and I'm just not quite I don't think we're spending enough time outside exploring which I think would help because I do like that um we all like that really sorry I've had a bit of a brain fart moment now about what I'm doing um So yeah, so I kind of like the last 24 hours, I've given it some real thought and me and Perry have had some talks about it because I think we've both been feeling the stress a bit. Um, like with the having to turn around and drive a different way and, you know, having to come onto small roads, which is not always easy in a van like this um, and makes things take like, you know, where it might take a car five minutes longer, it takes us 20 um, and things like that. We've kind of come up with a plan to just sort of not really change the plan, just sort of stop stressing out about it. We had like a real focus on we need to get to Trondheim and like that's when it's all going to start. And actually we're just going to take a more scenic route to Trondheim and just try and just enjoy the way. I'm lucky I've got these people around me to take care of me and cheer me up. But with van life, there's always something waiting around the corner. He's digging round under the van. something's wrong what's wrong what is it guess what we got what oil leak oh great so now our scenic route plans through the mountains aren't going to work there's no garages around there and this leak is getting bigger so now we've got to find a town nearby and see if we can find someone or something that can help us get things sorted with the van got some advice and product found but my resolution is failing so I know I said yesterday in my video that we weren't actually going to change our plan. We were just going to change kind of our approach to everything. Um, yeah, strike that. We've changed our plan. We're no longer trying to drive through the mountains. Uh, I think it's just been causing us all too much stress. So instead of trying to head to Trondheim, we are currently driving to a small town called Long. Um, I'm a bit sad that I don't think we're going to make it to Trondheim. However, I think we had to change something because the feeling in the van was just getting a bit too heavy and the stress levels were just getting a bit too heavy. Plus we had an oil leak, so we've had to go to a garage to sort that out and it's all just got a bit much. So we just kind of decided we were just gonna try and head for the closest thing to us to kind of take our mind off things and have some enjoyment of it all. So now instead of driving higher into the mountains, we're kind of heading more towards the coast and fjord country in Norway. So that's how things go. Any regrets we had about having to turn off to Lom quickly dissipated once we arrived. Lom is beautiful.
so after weeks and weeks of striving to try and arrive at places we gave up on the plan and have arrived at the beautiful town of Lom which wasn't on our itinerary originally but I'm so glad we've worked it in it's got such gorgeous stuff here um, see if you can see it it's just beautiful um, right in the middle of the mountains by the fjords by waterfalls it's got incredible historic old wooden buildings in it it's awesome um, yeah sometimes flexibility is the way to go one of the best parts of Lom was the fantastic stave church you'll find stave churches dotted out all over Norway but they aren't all as old as this one or as incredibly built this one is thought to have been built around 1150 and the boys exploring it was one of their favourite days out. Feeling inspired, they went off to see what else they could find. We've come to a school's playground after the school's shut. We're not like breaking into school and all the schools in Norway and most in Sweden and Denmark, they don't put uh, fences on their playgrounds. So we've come to hang out here and look what the kids have built. Oh my goodness, it's got a hat, it's got a little bed inside and everything. This is so cool. Hi guys. We're having a sleepover. You're going to have a sleepover. Okay, that's cool. One, no, two more. Two more. What will you do if you play? Hello. Hello. Our house? Yeah, definitely. I love it. Special delivery, Amazon. I don't know if I can fit through that door. <laughs> that door's not made for somebody my son. Daddy can fit in. Oh. Daddy can squeeze in. Yeah. Can you look at your little bed. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's Nolly, look at mummy. Snacks. Snacks. Say snacks. Snacks. <laughs> it was all going so well. We were having so much fun. The climb up was tiring, but the views were unbelievable. But with the climb getting higher and legs getting tireder and no sign of the bridge to cross the waterfall coming up, alarm bells started ringing. We have taken Lost in the Woods to the exceptional circumstances and we are lost on top of a mountain in Norway. Guys, we're going to have to walk right Okay, we're not entirely down. lost. We do know the way back down, but we did take a wrong turn. Good thing we checked the map and now we're heading back to the bridge we needed to. Um, luckily, everyone's in good mood. <laughs> Hopefully, it doesn't take that long to get down because it took ages to get up here. Thankfully, it took a lot less time to get back to where we should have been than it took to get up to the top of the mountain. But our legs were tired by the time we made it to the waterfall. We made it in the end. <laughs> and there was still the walk down to deal with. My family in the wilderness. All in all, we ended up walking about an hour further than we needed to. And most of that was uphill. The kids held up amazingly, but knackered would be an understatement. We are exhausted. Everybody's legs are shaking. But it is at least very, very beautiful. <sighs> what a walk. I would argue that of all the waterfalls we've seen and between Scotland and Norway, we've seen a lot. This was the most incredible. But trust your gut and check and double check your route when you're hiking. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye. Goodbye. On our next video with Warsaw Forza. The van life roller coaster continues. We are having some problems with our hot water. It's not coming on. We find ourselves at the absolutely breathtaking Boyabreen Glacier. A and with traffic escorts and boat rides, traveling around Norway is never boring. You can catch that all on Sunday with Rawson Forsome at 6pm.